ophthalmic artery. Prior to the procedure, a nasal decongestant, oxymetazoline, is administered to reduce the blood supply to the nasal passages. After the induction of general anesthesia, femoral artery access is obtained and intravenous heparin is administered. Utilizing fluoroscopic guidance, a four French guide catheter is advanced into the internal carotid artery at the level of C2. Under roadmap guidance, a microcatheter is advanced over a microwire beyond the ophthalmic artery origin. Selective catheterization of the ophthalmic artery is then performed by slowly retracting the microcatheter until the tip engages the origin. Superselective angiography is then performed to confirm the position of the microcatheter and assess the hemodynamic flow patterns of the ophthalmic artery. The chemotherapeutic agent, melphalan, is then infused through the ophthalmic artery over a 30-minute period. The microcatheter position is assessed during the infusion by intermittent fluoroscopy. Enhanced chemotherapeutic delivery to the tumor is achieved not only by superselective ophthalmic artery infusion, but also from the vasoconstrictive effects induced in the nasal mucosa from the prior oxymetazoline administration. After the chemotherapy has been delivered, the catheters are withdrawn and the femoral sheath is removed. After an average of three cycles, the retinoblastoma is expected to significantly decrease in size and regress completely or be sufficiently small enough so that local therapies are effective. A successful treatment avoids enucleation and the debilitating toxicities associated with systemic chemotherapy.